the priest who decided to wear his cassock, the testimony of Father Alvaro that is worth remembering. As you hear, this year I decided to come out. After seeing so many people who show off their diversity and applaud them and say how brave, and so on, I asked myself the question and why not me? So I made my decision, this year Father Alvaro would come out of the closet. I made up my mind and took my cassock out of the closet, starting in January I started using it daily from morning until before bed. Just like that, without solemn announcements, without giving it much thought, without giving prior explanations. Without seeking praise for it and without fear of mockery and insults or strange looks. What was my surprise? Many. First, I never thought that wearing a daily cassock could make me so happy as a priest. It has made it easier for me on the street to do as much good as I could not have imagined. I have blessed, advised, helped, I have confessed so many people with whom confidence was given as they see me in a cassock. Second, to my surprise, even walking in very diverse places such as the shopping center, the cinema, restaurants, parties, piñatas, the red zone in the center of the city, the book fair, etc. And having run into all the urban tribes and all kinds of people, in five months I have not received any insult or lack of respect from anyone, even openly anti-Catholic people. The sad thing about this, the only serious ridicule I've received for using it was from a priest. Third, sadly it is so unusual that a diocesan priest wears a black cassock that I have been generally confused with other religious orders. In these months I have been confused with Franciscan, Augustinian, monk, missionary, seminarian, Jedi knight, not kidding, karateka, dark, mannequin, not kidding either. And many times I have also been mistaken for a priest, which is good. It makes me think to what a degree we have become secularized that the diocesan priest is no longer associated with the cassock in daily life. Fourth, for being an anti-religious society, the number of people who ask for my blessing is remarkable, and when a person asks for a blessing, makes those who are around us to ask for it as well. In conclusion, I am very happy that I made this decision, when I did, I thought about doing it for a year, but now I can affirm that it is something that I want to do in a stable way. It helps me, it makes me happy, it helps people find a priest and the grace of God more easily. It reminds even those far away that God continues to haunt the world, he constantly reminds me that wherever I walk I represent Jesus and his bride the church. It reminds me that evil is known to disguise itself as an angel of light, that is to say, not even the weirdos at the book fair and the dragon mission have seen the hatred and contempt in the eyes I see of the Jehovah's Witnesses or other Christians when they see a priest. On the contrary, many have come close to having interesting dialogues. Even the low-life Dowtown have approached me respectfully to ask for my blessing. It is curious to see where hatred sprouts the most. Whoever has ears ought to hear and understand. In addition, it reminds me that one day I want to become a saint. Can I imagine Saint John Bosco, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, Francisco Javier, Saint Philip Neri, Saint Thomas Aquinas, Saint Francis of Assisi without his cassock or habit? No, do I want to be holy? Yes, therefore, it is good to wear the cassock. Wearing it confirmed a forgotten truth for me, the cassock is a sacramental, that is, it generates grace and disposes people to receive it. The clergyman, clerical shirt, is not. Finally, I am not going to give myself an air of grandeur by wearing a daily cassock. It does not automatically make me bigger or holier than other priests. But it helps me enormously, I invite the other priests to be brave, take their cassock out of the closet, use it more often and you will see the good you do to yourselves and souls. You will not regret it. Blessings. This was a rough translation by at Father Matrix.